Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to implement a Python script that scrapes Wikipedia articles and stores them in a local database. This is important as to whether you want to train language models or text detection and recognition algorithms. First, I start from the Wikipedia homepage and extract all the links on that page. Next, I randomly pick one article link, extract the body text for our purpose, and also gather all the non-duplicate links from that article. We continue this process page by page, extracting the text and collecting all the article links for future scraping. Let's begin. First, I import the necessary libraries. I used requests and beautiful soap for connecting to and parsing the HTML content. Next, I create a function to connect to a URL and I specify the headers, timeout duration, and rhetoric count and then return the response. Next, I create a function to scrape the body text of the articles. In this HTML file, we can access different elements using beautiful soup. For example, the main parts of an article is within the body content tag, as you can see through the source of the web page. Next, I'm going to remove unnecessary parts of the articles, such as references and tables. Feel free to remove more elements from the response. Next, I create a dictionary with the address, heading, and the text of the article. If the link is not the main page of Wikipedia, I'm going to store this article. I also add this address to the processed links so that I don't scrape it in the future. Next, I extract all the article addresses from the page, ensuring that each is a valid article link and not, for example, an image file. If I have retrieved the requested number of articles, I return them. Otherwise, I call the function again with a random article link to scrape more content. I wrap these functions in a general function. If it's a fresh start, I begin from the Wikipedia homepage. Otherwise, I start from a random article link and scrape that. Finally, I write save and load functions. I store the scraped articles in a JSON file and keep the article links to scrape in a text file. For loading data, I read these files and restore the content. When the program starts, it first loads the saved articles and addresses, then prompts the user for the number of articles they want to scrape. Thank you for your time. In the next video, I'll show you how to generate random images extracted text for training a text detection algorithm using yellow.